just going to um, Monk Barn Models uh, Andy, Andy Mashida. Been a big fan of York since, well, a lot longer than I've been at the club. He's been been there a long time, been involved with the club for a very long time. I think it runs back generations in his family. Uh, he's a big sponsor of the club, does uh, a bit of sponsorship on the shirt. So we're just going to bob in there, take a look at his shop, have a quick chat with him and, uh, and see how he's getting on. Right, Andy, thanks for having us at your shop. Um, obviously, I, I understand it's been in the family a while, so do you want to tell us a little bit about Monk Bar Models and, and how it started and, and where it's at now? Yeah, sure, Ben. Uh, well, it's actually celebrating 55 years as Monk Bar Models shop. Uh, been here in the same location 55 years. Uh, my father was involved well, when the shop started in 1963, and then I grew up with the business, and then I took over full-time about 20 years ago. Uh, and my father's now retired, and I've now taken over the day to day running and what does uh, what does your affiliation with york city nights how does that how does that come uh, alongside of monk bar models has it been a family uh, thing watching york city nights or is it just yeah been... um started with back in the Clarence street days going with my father and brother to watch what was in the wafts and then continued into radio the york and now form formation at york city nights um and that's when we started getting on board with more sponsorship um initially as a player did the play a few years, we could be like, I think probably favourite player we had was Ian Kirk in his early days at York. Uh, and then we've gradually moved on to the shirt, and I think we've done the shirt for the last five or six years. Awesome. And what's probably been, what would you say has been your proudest moment as either a fan or a sponsor of the club to date? I think it's got to be a promotion last year, really. Right, okay. Uh, combination of, yeah. And, and moving into 2019, what, what would you say you're most looking forward to? There's a lot of exciting things going on, so. What would you be most looking forward to this year coming? Uh, another challenge, really, as a, as a fan, it's, it's very exciting to be playing competitive matches every week, uh, giving the York lads a chance to challenge themselves against championship opposition and even full-time players. Kindly uh, offered to to do a prize for for anybody that's following this this video. 
Um, and do you want to tell us a little bit about what, what the prize is and, and what you're going to do? Yep, so complete sketch it set. You've got everything you need in there. Two cars, hand throttles, all your track, ready to go. All we need to do is to follow up my model shop and retweet this post and then we'll do a, a draw, a lucky winner before the 20th of December. Awesome. Cheers, Andy. Little foot nano racer. Here we go. Close, I think the thing about Monk Bar Model Shop for me is that it kind of, I've walked in there a few times now to meet Andy. Uh, and I suppose it reminds you a little bit of your childhood with all the uh, the train tracks, the scale electrics and things like that. Um, so it's a really cool little shop. Some great stocking fillers for, for the kids in there as well. The little uh, remote control car, I think that you can pick them up for like 15 quid. Um, we're just putting our tree up now. There's Claire putting our tree up now. So we're, we're well and truly getting ready for Christmas. But like Andy said there, if you do, uh, do want to be in with a chance to win the scale electrics... Uh, which I think is about 80, 90 quid's worth of equipment. All you've got to do is follow Monk Bar Models, who have been tagged into this tweet, and also uh, retweet uh, the video as well, and Andy will pick a winner on or before the 20th of December. So uh, if I don't see you folks before Christmas, have a great one, and we'll see you uh, in 2019.